I decided in the good old days there was no internet. There was no internet. We had to look up the yellow pages and the classifieds in the midday or something like that. I looked up. I looked for a hotel in Uti. It was called the Shoham Palace Hotel. Uh, and I was so excited because the name of the hotel had palace in it. But I said, palace, you know. We went by train to Bangalore, took an ST bus, me, my wife, two kids. And I was so proud of myself that I was taking my family for a holiday after seven years. We went there and we saw this hotel. It looked like a bhut bangla. It was a, you know, yes, darling. I went to this hotel and I'm saying, this is scary. So I looked at my wife and my wife is looking at me and I said, no, 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 don't worry. It must be a heritage hotel. Let's go inside. Let's go inside and have a look. So my wife, inside it must be, and I said, maintain that old look from outside, you know. So we went inside and they were taking us to the room. And the guy opened the door to my room. And we stepped inside the room. It was pitch dark. So the old guy went towards the switch. One light came on. It was still pitch dark. There was a zero number bulb in the room. One zero number bulb in that blooming room. And I was so embarrassed of myself that here I'm trying to do something good for my family. Taking them for a holiday. Sat in a train. My kids had not sat in a train. We, we went to this hotel called the Shawham Palace Hotel. And this was a disgusting old scary room. And I, I, was, I, I had tears in my eyes. And then at that point of time I couldn't help myself. I started laughing. I said, the only way to deal with this is to look at the bright side of it. I said, if you are here for seven days, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay for three days. But I'm not going to stay here. So I went on foot across the entire town of Uti looking for another hotel that would be in the budget, that would be a little more decent. We found a hotel. We stayed for four days. I went back and I decided that was an epiphany that I had in my life. That is the jungle within that I had to sort out that I'm going to take control of my life today. I will never, I will never in my entire life have to come to a point where because of my small way of thinking, and my small way of thinking was sell a picture here and sell a picture there. Because of that, I will never have another zero number bulb moment in my life. I made that decision. And let me tell you, a zero number bulb moment comes in everyone's life. No matter, even if you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you will have a zero number bulb moment in your life. Be prepared for it, because if you don't have that moment, there is no way in the world that you are ready to do bigger things. So pray for your zero number bulb moment the earlier on in life. And I can bet you something, kids, I can bet you something. Some of you have already had that moment in your life. When you say, I'm going to take control of my life. This is bullshit, man. I can't go on like this forever. I can't have people telling me that I'm a bloody failure and I'm a bloody loser. Has it ever happened to you? Tell it. Be brave and put up your hands for all those people who have had that zero number bulb moment in their life.